Should you, if your lower belt, be calling out upper belts to roll? That's what mm. we are going to talk about today on Open Mat Chronicles. I'm 1865 Rod, black belt under Gustavo Enriquez, training out of Infinite Jiu-Jitsu, Rockland, California. As always, shout out to NorCal. Okay. And as always, again, we got Schaefer here in the house. What's happening? I'm Harold Schaefer. I'm black belt under John Hassett out of uh, New Jersey. Been living in, out here in the West Coast for what, like eight years and some change now? Been training at Infinite Jiu Jitsu also. Uh, I love it out here. I'm not moving back to New Jersey. Sorry, everybody. I don't blame you. It's too cold out here. <laughs> once, you go, once you go to the West Coast, you yeah, it's, it's really nice out it's here. It's very hard to make that transition back. <laughs> so, great question, though. I mean, should, should these lower belts be calling out the upper belts when it comes time to roll? I mean, what, what are your thoughts? I don't know. It, I guess it depends on, like, see, I'm old school, right? So, it depends on who you ask, right? There's some schools now, it's like, I think it's kind of going away with that tradition a little bit. It's like, you just do whatever. It's 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 just roll with whoever. But coming from, like, where I came from, right. my mindset was, like, you kind of, you did to a degree, but not everybody. And it was a little bit nuanced. You kind of, like, you had a little bit of that respect thing. And then, uh, depending on who the, who, the, who the person is, right? For sure. Mainly, I'm going to say black belts. Not so much... I don't. I don't think a I agree. white belt could call it a blue belt or even a purple yeah, belt. No, 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 I do, agree. I agree. But a black belt is a little bit different, right? For sure. Um, and I'm. I might be a little jaded too because, like, I'm a, an instructor, older guy, right? So, like, maybe I don't feel like rolling that day, right? And then I got this this freaking you know white belt or blue belt calling me out, like, no, I gotta, you know what I mean? I gotta right. do it. So, like, I noticed, like, like professor, people don't really call him out, right? Right, for sure. But, but he'll cool. bring. Hey, Gus will bring. He'll bring the he'll, smoke. He'll bring the smoke yeah. when he wants to, but it's on his terms. And and I noticed, like, when I run a roll. I'll go out, I'll roll with anybody on my terms. I may not feel like rolling with the white belt that day. Yeah. So sometimes I like, sometimes I don't like it, but I try to deal with it. I accept it. It is okay. It doesn't bother me that much. But what do you think? Uh, I think that you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, uh, again, you're talking to a guy who's pretty much from old school jujitsu school as well. Um, I got a great freaking example of this. This is awesome. Uh, so this is a shout out to two people. This is a shout out to uh, John Hassett and shout out to Dave Gill. Um, big giant Jack, freaking black belt now. But I remember, and apparently he used to train out here in California before I ever even met him. But mainly from Vegas though. So I'm there. I think I was a purple belt at the time with Hassett's, and we're up there. We're doing our thing. John was down in the office doing whatever the hell. Office John does, right? Yeah. You know, <laughs> counting his money or something. <laughs> so um, this big joker shows up, right? Just like, just swole up Jack, dude, right? Uh, brown belt out of Vegas. Uh, and he's like, he said, uh, hey, uh, where's where's you know the head instructor blah 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 he was he basically wanted oh, to kind of yeah. almost he kind of almost wanted to come in and, dojo and, and yeah like kind of <laughs> dojo storm him right and and John was like. Nah, he said, go roll my lower belts first. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's gangster. That but I like that. Yeah, and he came in and he beat the dog shit out of me. And I was like, all right. Well, <laughs> I was like, so uh, <laughs> help. <laughs> but I told you, him, yeah. But I, I was there. I was cannon fodder. And and really, that's see, that's that traditional that's shit, right? Though. Before you go challenge the master, yeah. you gotta fight his underlings <laughs> first. You gotta yeah. you gotta fight the under bosses before you can fight the boss level. You don't just show up day one. Yeah. I want to fight the instructor. Yeah. I'm like, who the hell are you? This ain't prison. Yeah, right. It's like, <laughs> come on, man. So that's why we have Madden for you. <laughs> yes, yeah, for sure. And I remember that it was awesome. I got like tiger clawed across my face because. Dude, it was it was an aggressive fight. We were going at it, but he's he's a super cool guy. <laughs> um, but that was that was a hell of a thing. Yeah. I was basically there as the buffer. I yeah. was the buffer, and fact of the matter is, he shouldn't have showed up just trying to challenge the. You know, you don't yeah. just take a shot at the king right from the door. Yeah. So that was cool. Uh, so yes, my personal opinion is lower belts should definitely not be jumping up, running after the black belts in there. They Wait to kind of get called out, you yeah. know. Don't they'll, they'll roll with you. I mean, or even if you kind of, you know, you raise your hand and you, you look, you're like, hey, you know, you just yeah, kind of wave. Yeah, yeah. And if the black belt goes, yeah, come here, yeah, come here, you know, he gives he gives you the, the, the signal. Yeah. He's the signal. He's like, come on, come yeah. on, let, let, let me beat you up real quick. Yeah. That's cool. But it's like, you know, you, if you're one of them jokers, you see the black belt and already rolled a bunch of times or whatever the case may be, and you're like, come on, old man. Yeah. It's like, whoa, 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 slow yeah. down, dude. It's <laughs> like you you got all this energy and shit, and yeah. 
we're, we're broken. <laughs> I just <laughs> relax. No, that, this is fast. That's fast. So this is story like for, for Gus, because Gus like he doesn't roll that much, but he will still bring it. But he rolls on his terms, and it's fine. Sometimes he'll grab. You know, it could be a white belt, it could be a blue. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, he'll, he'll roll with anybody. He'll roll with anybody. Like, and here a good story was that we had this high level. Full on competitor black belt coming. His young cat. He was like twenty eight mm-hmm. when he came in to visit our school. He's like, I'm only here, you know, just for like a month. I'm a, I'm a competitor. That's all I do is compete. Like I'm not looking for anything. You know, I want some tough roles. He came in, and the funny thing is, I was there visiting because my knee was blown out at the time, so I couldn't run. I'm like, oh Gus, man, you know I'd be on it, dude. I, I would right? do it, but I couldn't. Gus says, Rod, hold my glasses. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> Gus got up. He and rolled in like a week. <laughs> I just put it on him. I'm like, oh man, Gus is gangster, dude. That yeah. was tight. He shut down every. Right, and those those are fun. It's fun to watch that yeah, shit too. But you know what? He probably felt pretty good. You know, he got, exactly. Like, okay, I'm a little challenger. I'm gonna get up. But there could be another day because his shoulders all jacked up. What if his shoulders all jacked up? Dude, that listen. Day, right? He's hurting. Oh, you gotta call you out. Right, go. and it, and That's and it's like, hard to say no. Look, it's hard to say no. It's hard for me to say no. no I, I no rarely, people. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, I rarely say no to anybody, to and me. I know that can be to my own detriment because, yeah, man, sometimes I'm not feeling, it, or sometimes yeah. you know, like, or if we were lifting or something like that, and I'm just I'm out of it, and I I know I'm not going to be able to perform, and then I guess this young stud joker wants to like jump up, and he's like, oh shit, I feel great, let's fight, and I'm yeah. like, damn, I feel terrible, exactly. But I'm going to fight you, but I mean, exactly. damn, this is going to be bad for me. Exactly. You know, like, I mean, like, that's what they don't get. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, watch that episode on the truth about grappling when you're old. Oh, my episode God. Episode one dude. and two. Yeah. And then that'll put some context right? to this. It's like, dude, like, <laughs> your, your worst day is where I wake up on a regular <laughs> basis, man. It's like, you, you've got energy and, and no injuries and. I'm just like a walking scab. Yeah. I'm like everything's broken and torn up. But but then if you don't roll, you feel like oh. You then I roll. feel like I'm doing you a disservice. Yeah. If if you're a blue belt and a purple belt yeah. and you're hungry and you want to eat, and then nobody else is rolling with you, you know, because maybe you're that guy. That's when I roll. Right. No maybe roll. maybe you're that guy. You're freaking eating everybody's lunch, and they're like, yo, fuck this guy, yeah. dude. It's like every time I jump in there with him. Uh, you know, I'm getting tossed up, and then here I am. I'm trying to listen to music and sit on the sit on the sidelines and just watch. And you know, just go, well, you're doing good. You're doing good. Yeah. But now I'm like, this but, but you're bitch. Right. When, when no one wants to roll with them. Yeah. Yeah. Because now he's sitting there looking all lonely and shit. And I'm like, all right, well, I'll be damned if I'm just going to have somebody sitting there and not just, have a yeah. partner. Or, or another Ugh. example would be like like the other couple weeks ago when the MMA guy came in. Right, dude. Tough dude. I, I did I, not I, want to roll with him. I didn't either, but I had to get him first. I'm like, I got you. I got you. Let's, do it. Let's just do it, right? Because I didn't want my guys to roll with him, and then I didn't. You know what I mean? And Absolutely. Was totally fine. He was a great, Absolutely. great roll, tough dude. And it was safe. rough. Oh, it was rough. He, he was super safe. Super like, safe. But, but yeah, safe, but dangerous. You know, that's kind of funny yeah. you can say it like but that, right? He had control, though. He had control. He, had he control. wasn't going going to snap your legs off no, or anything. He was not to hurt you. Like but. Yeah, that was a good, it was a good fight, dude. This dude out of what? Saudi Arabia, right? Uh, yeah. Dubai. No, Dubai, Dubai. Dubai. Yeah, he was out of Dubai. Yeah, he was and, and holy crap, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, I already know this. Yeah. Let's just do it. Come on. I was sitting, I was sitting out on the chairs off the mat, and I was like talking to somebody else. And I think I was talking, was it Sean? I don't know, man. And I looked and I was like, I was like, man, I, I don't even feel like fighting this guy. And I'm just sitting there, and I'm watching, and I'm like, "He's putting on me." Oh, uh, I'm like, I have to fight this guy, don't I? I'm like, because if I don't, it's like we have to. You yeah, have to. it's all bad, just, man. Just, he flew across the entire yeah. world, and he came here to come train it's for a while, us, dude. Yeah, I was like, all right. So I got my, I put on my big boy pants, and I was yeah. like, all right, let's get it done. That's all you can do. And man, it was a rough fight. See, to me, that's the obligation of a black belt. So sometimes you have to do it, but like for my own students coming in on a regular basis, right. like, I think they sometimes get a little jaded, and it's not their fault. That's This is the world they grew up in. But like for yeah. me, when I when I was coming up, I never even saw a purple belt until Dude, many years later. Facts. You know, like we had all blue, all our guys Absolutely. Blue belts. I, I started with John when he was a purple belt, and I had never seen a black belt for... It felt like for like almost a couple years before I well, maybe not a couple years, but it felt like a long ass time yeah. before I ever saw a black belt. In fact, the Megalerese brothers were probably one of some of the first black belts oh, okay. that I saw because those were John's instructors. Yeah, yeah. And 
and then also Stephen Maxwell. Yeah, like I think he was he might have been the the first one. But I was like, holy shit, it's like a unicorn sighting, right? And, <laughs> right and I'll be damned if I would have been like, hey, you want to fight? <laughs> I'm like, who There's the no fuck are you? I would have no never done that. Now dude. they just they're comfortable, like, oh, come on, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, White belt's calling, yeah. Out. Like, calling out everybody, right? It's like, look, I've been training for three months. I think I can take you, old man. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> And here's the thing, like, in your mind, like, like at least for me, I have, a, like, a switch. It's like, that switch is just turned off. There's nothing in my mind that's trying to get this guy at a, as a white or a blue belt. Correct. Like, I'm just trying to, like, let you work your game. And your thing. Like, that's the danger. Yeah, I can't crank it up oh, even if I wanted God. to. I just, I don't have that drive to where, like... I want to. Now I had that drive with that brown belt. Like, yeah, it's on. Yeah, like, it was right? a fight, dude. It was a fight because we're right there. We, we're we're yeah, on the same level. The same thing. He's yeah. basically black. So I don't have that that level of intensity with a blue belt, you know, or even a purple belt. I'm still kind of letting work. Not that I'm being like cocky. I'm not. No, it's not a matter of being cocky. You're, I'm not being that. Yeah, but you're just legit. Like, I'm just letting them work their game a little bit. I'll try to defend. You know what I mean? If you leave something out, I'll take it. But you know, if you don't make yep. any major snakes, we're probably gonna stalemate. You know, it's yeah. not a big. And deal. then it always feels like. If you do get called out by a lower belt, they they've to. got nothing to lose. They, they, they're yeah. they're going to be like, yo, I'm going to go <laughs> balls to the wall. Yep. I'm trying to catch him in anything yep. I can. And then me, I'm I, like you say, you go in. And I'm, I go in. And I'm like, all right. I'm just kind of chill. I'm going to flow. Yeah. But I can't even flow now because this guy is just like exactly. coming at me like a freaking Tasmanian <laughs> yeah. devil. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, my God. I did not feel like doing this today. I just wanted to flow roll. I yeah. wanted to work some stuff out. Yeah. Maybe I'm nursing an injury or whatever the case. I'm always nursing, nursing an injury. But it's like maybe I'm just trying to chill. But I got this guy's like, oh, I'm about to catch this black belt today. <laughs> and then it's like, damn, do I, do I have to kick it up really and like just – beat the dog shit out of you. I didn't want to do that. And now I'm probably going to have to work way harder than I felt yeah. like. <sighs> I don't think they were even look at it like the, the difference. And this is one thing about jujitsu. That's a little frustrating. Like you could be like right now I'm 60 years old. There could be a guy 30 years old. I'm yeah. literally twice his age. But you know what? They don't even think about that. That's not even on their radar. They know they come in. They see that black belt. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. There's I'm going to get a black belt today. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hey, fuck. dude, we we had right, people we had people good, in our okay. school though, like I gotta accept it. Who who were like on that? Oh, I gotta check my. I got a black belt. I got a black belt. I mean, it happens, and there's a lot of people like that, and you know, part of it's an ego thing. I beat you in practice, right? I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I beat you in practice. It's like, yeah, dude, did you? Yeah, and I, and then but then I go, yup. Yeah, you got that. Because again, I try to. I really honest to try to. I try to live by my own freaking saying, no, which is pretty, check your ego yeah. at the door. I'm like, what? What do I have to prove? Yeah. What do I have to prove to this blue belt, white belt, purple belt? Oh yeah, I, I caught this black belt, man. It yeah. was great. I'm like, part of me wants to go. Did you? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're really good about that, and I think I, I kind of got some of that from you because. I have no problems like letting people get stuff sometimes, and I didn't before. I was always like, "Oh, you're not gonna tap me." And some, a lot of like, sometimes professors are like that. Like, they will not let you tap them. But like, I've seen you give up arm bars, everything. I'm like, dude, I'm looking at the guy like, "Yo, bro, you're a white belt. You really think you got that? You really, <laughs> really think like you really got that?" Call. Like somebody, you gotta let them practice on somebody. You gotta practice, right? Yeah. I will say this though, John has it. I've never tapped him. Even in practice, I don't even know if he's even let me work a move to actually just finish it to see how to do the move properly. He'll be like, no, go try it on him. I'm like, what the shit? I've never done this, dude. I remember John and I fought, and, you know, I was, I was, I was that guy. I'm going balls to the wall. I'm going to catch me a black belt. Yeah, didn't catch him. But I... <laughs> busted him in the head so fucking hard. His whole shit was all like red and swollen and That's whatnot. Old school though. And I was like, hey, uh, you all right? He's like, it's like, you got something on your face. Not so much here. It's like more like right here on your face. <laughs> But that was that was a fun fight. That's, that's a first, <laughs> first generation black belt. It's like Gus, you ain't ta- they ain't tapping, dude. They just don't tap. They, they, just they don't, don't tap. tap. You, yeah, yeah, you get them, you legitimately got them because they will not give up nothing. Yeah, <laughs> Gus ain't tapping. Yeah, I've never I've never tapped John. Damn. Let me ask you this. Okay, so what about does that rule apply to all black belts? And I'm gonna put some context mm. to this because there are some black belts that like 
hey, I got my black belt, but you know, I don't really compete. I don't teach. I, I'm a student basically, but I just come in here and fight everybody. Like, so they're almost like student black belts. But then right. you have other black belts that are maybe they're competitor black belts, and you have other black belts that maybe they're not competing, but they're teaching. They're instructors. They're professors. So let's just say you have the student black belt. It's like. He's not doing anything, but he's he's basically the same as he was as a blue belt. Right. He just happens to wear a black belt. Right. Can they call those guys out? What are so your thoughts? I would say yes, because if they're they're not teaching, they're they're in there to get a workout, to get a role yeah. like everyone else. If they're not approached, I mean, yeah, they'll 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 cherry pick who they want to fight. Yeah. But if you're if you're not sharing the art as a black belt, I mean I do have some issue with that, but not enough to like I'm going to get into a fight over it. Yeah. But I think as a black belt, you should be it's, – it's just part of being a black belt is being an instructor, right? Yeah. Um, if you're not, if you're just a straight-up student black belt, yeah. right? If you're just a student black belt, then, then yeah, I think anybody can call you out. I think so. Why not? Now, you're probably going to drag them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's your, that's oh, your they right. Don't get and they, they, still and they yeah. should expect it. Yeah. So I did see some people have, like, the black belts with the white stripe. And I think a lot of places will make – those are your student black belts. So the red stripes they would have as oh, instructors. The but the oh, Right, the really? bar. The bar. The white bar would indicate basically really? – It's like, yeah, this guy just beats the shit out of people. I didn't know that. So it's I like – I just learned something. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so, I, I mean – I thought you were talking about the instructor stripes. No, no, well, no, no, no. no yeah, bar. sorry. No, yeah. no. The red bar is, a white bar is an instructor. Well, it's usually the red bar with the, then the little – The two, little, the, the little two the white, white stripes at each end. But – but then some people just have a black belt, white bar, and okay. that usually denotes that I didn't know. just a person who just fights. Oh, it's I just... thought that was the interim belt that you get. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, some of those some of the schools, schools do that like, bullshit yeah, you too. Yeah, 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 you know. gotta prove it. But um, really, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Before. Yeah, and then and if that's the case, have at it, man. Fight them, roll with them, try it. See see if you see, see if that see if that new Uma Plata setup works for well, you. Well, and here's another thing that I that I just realized too, because like okay, so I teach on Wednesday night, right? And when you get done teaching, especially if it's like a cool move, something that takes a certain amount of athleticism, right. a lot of your energy goes out. Yeah, right? for sure. Everybody, you're passionate. And yep. like I just noticed tracking back, like I don't have my best nights after teaching because I'm like I'm kind of tired, you know, because like you, gotcha. like, you put all your energy right. into like really, yeah. no, no, if you're doing a good totally, job teaching. 100%. Yeah, you're dumping 100%. that energy into that. And that the last thing I want to do is fight because now I want to, after class, after you teaching, you want to kind of just look see what everybody people. else is doing, make sure they're doing it right. because yeah, I don't want to be the instructor that's like, oh, you never watch me. You know, because that then I'm the guy complaining about. Yep. You know, who mm -hmm. I used to complain about, right? So that's not what I want to do. I feel you. So you, I think as an instructor, you have to watch your students. I agree. And that means you can't be. Like, that means you're, you're uh, right. Oh, come on, man! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! It's like to me. <laughs> off subject, but on subject. To me, it's like the freaking parent who wants to be their kid's buddy. It's like, nah, you're not a fucking buddy. You're you're their parent. Yeah. So. I'm I'm your instructor. I'm not your buddy right now. Now yeah. we, we can get some beer afterwards and, yeah, yeah. and we can be a buddy. But right now, I'm here to teach you. I'm here to yeah. share the art. And that means I'll see what you're doing while you do it to this person. Exactly. So that I can un get an understanding for yeah. where your flaws might lie or where your strengths are. Um just the other day, right? We had we had our guy um we, we did something from not combat base, but whatever. He he was he was underhooking the leg, and I showed him. I was like, "Oh, you know what? Just roll up on that shoulder, boom, and then you can snatch it into a uh, into a takedown, right?" Yeah. And that's a more athletic, smaller guy move, right? Yeah. I am not a small athletic guy. I'm a big athletic guy, yeah. and but I can see moves for smaller people. I can see yeah. moves for. Males for females for skinny for fat whatever I understand yeah, I understand jujitsu yeah, yeah. and yeah. I can say well this would work for you yes. this would work yeah, for you I get that. and it's like I can I can remote control you and yeah. tell you what you should do right yeah. and if I just instead said hey let's fight you lose all that then like what what the hell am I teaching him I'm, yeah. uh, I'm like either I'm gonna let him yeah. work his moves but then as he's working his move I'm like well, well, I'm yeah. still blocking this shit. So now if I'm blocking it, I can't give him a pointer and say, oh, do this, right? Really? Exactly. So I just take a step back and I'm like, you fight, I'll watch, then I'll I'll critique afterwards. Exactly. You know? And sometimes too, like after teaching, like you might, 
I'll pick the roles because I might say, okay, I haven't rolled that guy in a while. I want to see if he's better. Yeah. I want to see how he's doing now. Right. So there's I'll a reason him. that I call I'll feed him some out. moves. Yeah. yeah, there's a reason for it. It's not just random like, like, hey, I just want to roll with you. Like, I get enough rolls. Now, here's the thing. When I go in on Monday night, I'm a student. There I go, go in as a student. I come in late. I don't do warm ups. <laughs> I don't wear my belt. I never wear my belt. I just come in like knees all year. Or normally it's nogi, whatever. I just right. like, he want to roll. You can call me out then. Now it's all, for it's sure. all good, dude. But, you know, like on a, on a teaching night, it's mm-hmm. more, I think it affects me more. Well, it's like formal teaching. and informal, right? Yeah. If, you, if you're doing nogi, psh, you have at nogi. it. Yeah. That's sport. Yeah. Nogi is sport. Yeah. When you start throwing on a kimono and yeah. tying up belts and then going yeah. in all the ceremony, well, then it's more of a it's martial art again. Then like it's that, tradition. Yeah. It's like, hey, it's like, don't just jump all over everybody and think, <laughs> oh, I'm going to beat up this guy. Nah, man. So they're, they're, it's funny. Uh, talking to a buddy of mine, um, she actually is a brown belt. And she was like, hey, you know, listen, she's like, nobody wants to roll with me right now. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? She's like, well, did she just get her brown belt? Uh, she... No, she got her brown belt maybe six, seven, eight months ago, damn near okay, a year so ago. She's a, she's a yeah, solid she's brown belt, right? She's a she's a, a seasoned brown belt and been training for at least 10, 11 years, you know, something like maybe more. Badass, like legit. But, and I know this is unfortunate, but guys don't really want to roll with her partially because – if it's a lower belt guy, not only will she keep up, she'll probably eat your lunch, right? She'll she'll hit yeah. you she'll hit you with the with with the, yeah. with the moves, man. She'll take you out, right? Uh, even the bigger guys, right? You know, and they were kind of said told like, hey, man, you know, watch trying to call her out because some people again, they're 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 belt hunting. They're like, oh, well, wait a minute, I can't catch this dude because you know. We're about the same size, plus he's a brown belt. He's been doing it for a long time. But I could probably out-muscle this smaller guy or this girl who happens to be a brown belt. So I'm just going to freaking go at them. And, again, I think that's also disrespectful. Now, if you're it's just totally if you're just trying to hunt just so you can say, I've got this brown belt, but then you have a massive advantage because you're twice their size yeah. and you used yeah. to wrestle and you used yeah. to do all this stuff. Yeah, you're being a douchebag. Yeah, you know what I mean? Totally, it's like totally. it's like have the respect. Let them call you out. Yeah. But here was the flip side to this thing. She was like, I want them to call me out. And I was like, well, shit, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I was like, no, I was right. like, you have to, I was like, then you need to stand up in front of that freaking group and go, yo, make sure you come here and you ask me to roll. I don't want to have to keep come chasing you down. Oh, I see. I see. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you got to just put it out there. You know yeah. what I mean? So it, that was that, that was a hard one. I'm actually legit dealing with that. But she could call just, people out. She could for sure. She could for be sure. I think. Hundred percent. Yeah. But but she wanted to be called out. Oh, I see. And like this was a conversation just within the last couple of days I had. Okay. And I was like, holy shit! And that was before we even talked about this yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. as a as a subject. It just happened to be it ties in. So. Damn, dude. So I don't know, right? Like, so everything I said kind of gets flipped on its ear, but there's always, what do you say, the exception doesn't make the rule. Yeah, it's the outliers, yeah. Yeah. But you're right. So maybe it's like from a white belt's perspective, and this is going to, I don't want this to come off wrong, but let's just say there's a white belt guy, right? Yeah. If he's, let's say he taps out a female purple belt. Right. In his, in his mind, he's like, I got a purple belt. Even though the, the girl probably, maybe she's legit or whatever. Right. I'm not but, taking but away. But she's 110 pounds. She's 110 pounds. And he's, he's like, a 220. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, and he's like, yeah. oh, you know, I used to wrestle and yeah. I do a lot of, a lot of deadlifts. Yeah. And, he's not even factoring that in. He right. just got a purple belt in his mind, right? So I think that kind of goes away. And not only that, sport. she might be like, hey, I'm just going to flow roll with this you fool. Work your game. And he's like, boom, yeah. I got to get her. If she makes the slightest slow yeah. move I'm, I'm jumping on her I'm smashing her <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna freaking make sure I'm gonna fold her in half and just lay all my weight on and my- man girls have it rough dude do you think about it oh hell yeah they kind of do dude that's gonna be a whole cause you know what man it, a if you think whole about it, other topic girl, I, I, really, I really can't complain cause I just had a little epiphany cause like yeah you can say I'm older but I'm still kind of I'm very strong for my size yeah for sure but still think of it okay so I think I'm, I would have an advantage over a girl who is 30 <laughs> right, like yeah. think, listen, let's say you have a girl. Dude, uh, let's say you have a girl, right? And she's she's state black belt, right? But I'm still a black belt, even if I'm 60. I'm still like way bigger, way stronger, right? Like that right. does like it, the it technique can still if, get you. If the I techniques understand. are all still the same, all things considered, yeah. 
you're going to have the size and the strength. Because the there is a formula. I like the little formula. I, I want to say shout out to who did it. Um, man, what's the guy's name from? From uh, he's in Texas. Little little Polynesian dude. He's legit, dude. I like him. Not sure. I don't know, but anyway, he said, "Here's your your formula. Basically, your size and strength mm -hmm. plus your technique equals your game." Okay. Right, and that actually, if you really do the math, I've done the little formula. I've looked right. at it. Okay. Smaller guy with yep. really good technique. He's going to have a faster game where he's going to yep. have to stay on the outside. So you could have a white belt. He's like two thirty. Goes against a black belt, one thirty. Mm -hmm. It could be a stalemate. You know, it could be tight. Like could it get there. could be. You know, maybe the black belt should get him. But should is this technique him. good enough to overcome a hundred pound difference? It should be. It may not though. Yeah, I mean you're right. I mean you can it always get grabbed and just held down in place. It may, and that's it, it the thing. Tough, if you're bro, just getting like, smashed, it, it can be yeah. rough. It that's why. Rough. So as you, as you get older, you have to just improve your technique, technique, right. technique. So girls are are smaller, so they're just technique, <sighs> technique, technique. But still, that physicality of like a big. You know, a strong, aggressive guy is going to come into play. It makes a difference. It makes, it makes a, a difference, difference, man. There's I, no way you, around we're it. Gonna so have, we're going to end up having the props. Yeah, Give them we're, we're going to have to have a girl power episode. And we bring do, on, man. We need bring, like bring female, on a bunch of the, female Friday or something. A bunch of the chicks we know. And we just got have some tough them girls, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We're definitely going to have to get their perspective on it because I, I, I'd like to hear okay. really where they're coming from. I got another one for you. Here's another. Okay, so let's just say you have a guy who's one thirty, right? And you have a girl who's 130. That guy's going to have an advantage, bro. 100%. He's, he's still a man. He, it is what it, it is. It sucks. It, you know, it does suck, but it's biology sucks. Ah, man, I, listen, it doesn't suck. I don't even think it sucks. Biology. I just think it is what it, it is. is. It is. Yeah. yeah. That's like saying, you know, it's like, look, we, we, I got a, a Yugo, and I got a tank, and they're driving at each yeah. other, and when they hit, yeah. well, yeah, man, one of them's getting smashed. One of them's getting smashed, dude, yeah. So I, I think it's a shout-out to the females that do the grappling, you know, because they, oh, yeah. all they have is technique. They're not going to outfit. Put say. They're not going to have a physical advantage, and usually very not. rarely an issue. Gabby Garcia, and that's why, yeah, yeah. <laughs> facts. Right. And I, man, I still calling her out. I, I still want to roll with her, but, <laughs> but, um, but you know the young lady I'm talking people. about, yeah, no, right. Uh, was it was Mackenzie Dern? No, yeah. it was Mackenzie, some other little chick. I don't. Maybe Mackenzie beat her too. I don't know. But yeah, she did. She definitely beat her. But oh, she got yeah. her only points. Or something. Oh, Whatever. Yeah. But, but, um. Some of the girls at Hassan, man, like I said, they were they're beast mode, right? But they're little beast mode. They're not they're not like they're not no big giant chicks or nothing like that. They're they're like but they they're, can be big, but they're still well. Not, I mean, even well, strength, dude. Their, their right. muscles are but I'm different. just saying they are good, and like half of them are doctors, dude. I told like, for some reason Hassan put out a lot of doctor wow. jujitsu black belts. Wow. Go figure. I don't know there's something in the water out there, but um, but yes, I mean, I I really would like to have. A couple ladies on and, and actually yeah. get their perspective on and, on that as well. And let me put another caveat too. And I yeah. think it really matters more when you have jujitsu fighting jujitsu. Now, if you have an untrained yes. guy, the girl's going to freaking dominate every time. And we saw that with our, with our Amy. Girl, oh Amy. man, she was like Amy was like a pit bull, man. Oh, I, I, man. I loved hanging Shout out with out her. Amy. Like we would have some joker show up who's brand new, and it would just be like, I'm like Amy, I'm like, okay. I'm, like I'm gonna get ready, get ready. Sick him. And then, boom, she's on his ass, man. She's oh, freaking man. Sh 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 choking the shit out of him. Yeah. I was like, yes. <laughs> she was awesome. I always, I always like to use Amy as she was a true picture of jujitsu. It kind of is, like, man. It's like, this she is. Like 115. Right. I'm like, dude, I'm like, think about it. You're a 200-pound dude. You jumped in. You're going to try to wrestle with this young lady. No, actually. And actually, you're getting just no, tossed I have, up. I have a better story because we had one time we had this one Amy was training with us. Right? Uh -huh. We had a guy come in. He was like maybe like 210 pound guy, big dude, white belt. Never, never, you know, he was a newer, but he came in. He was being really rough with our white belts, mm. and I didn't like that. So I could have went over and smashed him. But I said, you know what, Amy? And she was a blue belt. I'm like, Amy, you got this. Mm -hmm. She went over there and put a whooping on him, dude. Like she dude. triangled him and arm on him like three times. The guy looked like he wanted to cry. Oh yeah. He just got beat by a girl with two crooked ponytails. Oh, I love it. I love it. One ponytail coming up here, the other one coming out here. Dude, she's, <laughs> she was Amy is fearless, dude. Yeah, yeah like Amy is crazy. Not not was she is. Oh, she she's still, still is. fearless. Yeah, she's still training, right? Look, she's a purple yeah. belt. I think he's like a, a several stripe purple belt now. Yeah. So that was that's jujitsu right there. That's the essence of jujitsu. Absolutely. But now I'm saying like if Amy now is a purple belt. Goes against another man, purple about her size. See, it's gonna, the, it'll she, get ugly. It'll get ugly. He's, she, he has an advantage. Right now. He has a physicality advantage if he's a bigger, stronger guy. Because I mean, and then also if you want to see a great too. example of, of jujitsu, when you flip it back to the from a male perspective, our boy Wes, smaller Ooh, guy, oh, dang, Wes, why you beast. Bring him up? Because I, mean, I think dang. I mentioned before, like yeah, last one. he actually put me in a freaking walking boot for a while. <laughs> like he <laughs> caught me, awesome. he caught me in an ankle lock, and I got Wes. 
by at least 140 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, maybe not 140, but hell, close enough. Yeah. And we're going, we're going, we're going. And he dropped back, yeah. boom, caught that ankle lock. And I was just like, oh, shit, I'm crippled. <laughs> and like that was that was it. That was <laughs> like I, I was I was one of awesome. I was in a boot for like a month or so. <laughs> That's awesome. You should have wrote rest on the boot. Right? Uh, I know, right? <laughs> Shit. Awesome. I, I was too. I was still too busy, freaking That's sulking awesome. and feeling bad for yeah, myself, walking around, can't even put any fucking pressure on my foot. It was crazy. <laughs> but it happens, man. It like, happen. and that's technique. Yeah. Boy, that's technique, so, like, that's again, aggressive, that's freaking athleticism. He had yeah, it all. He's the package. We're not saying that the bigger guy's going to win. We're just saying, like, on paper, he has an advantage. Yes, he has an advantage. In general. He Hell, because do, one of those, the other things is we're leaving out is age. Age. So what are those little, those computer simulations where you, like, take yes. one superhero? And run it 100 guy. times. Yeah, like 100. And, 80% of the times, yeah, this guy will win. He'll That's win. what I'm saying. The guy yes. will probably win you yes. know, the majority of the time, but there's yeah. going to be outliers where they could still win. Absolutely. And they're going to definitely win sometime. They're going to get you, right? Without Those a fights doubt. fights are unpredictable. Always. Yeah. Ask, ask freaking uh, Tyson Fury. Ooh, that's right. <laughs> he was just Ooh. getting chipped up in that last fight. Yeah, he was. It happens. <laughs> All right, so let me ask this. So, okay, so on that note, so should – what's the final consensus on this? Should you – you're a white belt. You're going into a school. Should you just straight up black belt? What's up? Right? What's your what's your final take on it? My what's your final advice take. and I'll give you my thoughts? I don't like it, but I would never throw it in your face. If you did it, I'm probably gonna roll with you. Yeah. Um ultimately look, we're adults. You do whatever the fuck you wanna do. Um but if somebody says no, don't get butt hurt about it. Don't freaking look for explanations as to why. Oh, he's scared of me. Yeah, right. <laughs> please, please don't believe that. Don't, don't, don't believe your own hype. Um, damn. Final thought: Do whatever you want. I mean, that's such. It do feels like it feels like a cop out, but do it's like do. do what you want. I would say if I had to give advice, I would say do it, but don't do it to instructors on like when they're like I wouldn't yeah, do it to like, like don't call your instructor. Yeah, I don't do that, like, especially to teach and all that. You know, even to this day with 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 professor. He'll, he'll, I'll wait for him. I'll ask him, hey, Gus, how you feeling, man? You good? Yep. And he usually asks me, yeah, come on, same here. let's go. And I'm like, yep, right, absolutely. I I, absolutely. Every I, time. I can, I, can, I can read him. Like he's not. I can tell right now. His shoulder's all jacked. No, Boom. Leave, leave him alone. Him. Yeah. I leave can him tell. Alone. Yeah. So anyway, that's kind of my thoughts on it. But anyway, do what you do. Just be. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It almost feels like a cop out. Yeah, Damn. I don't, don't want to feel like a punk, right? Uh, so, Jesus. Call me out, I guess. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. You can call us out. We accomplished nothing, basically. Yeah, pretty much. We were just talking shit. We are just talking shit. We are just talking shit. Final thoughts? Um, Get out and train. Do the damn thing. Freaking love jujitsu. Try to love jujitsu as much as me. Love it more than me if you think you can. Um, Get get on the mats, man. It's like, if it's important to you, what do you say? You'll you'll find a way. And if it's not, you'll find an excuse. Boom. On that note. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Hey, if you like it, hit the like, hit the subscribe, share it. You don't have to do all that because it's kind of a pain. You know, Man, do all that shit. Say, though, do it. But it's a pain, but I, I at least do a like and a subscribe. That's not that yeah. hard. But, you know, we appreciate you guys. Absolutely. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, take it easy. <laughs>